Greetings. Many of you have asked about how to embed or use embed code to place things into your online course. That's just what this video is about. Embed code is simply some HTML or web code that you can use to place content into your course. When you embed, the placed content appears to be in your course, but is still technically stored on the site you got it from. Suffice to say that by embedding, you are not using up space on the college's Blackboard server, which is a good thing. The great thing about embedding is that all kinds of sites provide embed code these days, which means that you can place content from virtually anywhere on the web into your online course. A few examples uh, can be found in this video. Uh, firstly, the college's video server, which you can see here. If you've uploaded a video here, you can embed the video from this site by clicking Share and Copy Embed Code. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see that there's a bunch of code. Now, the great thing about embed code is that you don't have to understand what this code means to place it into your course. Once you click inside this box, uh, we need to select all of the text in that box so that we can put it in our course. The easiest way to do that is by using the keyboard shortcut Control A. Once you've selected all of that, just click Control C to copy that to your clipboard. We'll use that code later to put it into our Blackboard course. Another example of embed code and where you can find it is on YouTube. So here's a YouTube video. To find embed code for a YouTube video, simply click Share, scroll down, and then Embed. Now YouTube videos are a little bit unique in that uh, that code has different options along with it. So if you look below the embed code, uh, then you can see some checkboxes here. Note that the show suggested videos when the video finishes is unchecked. Uh, that's where the ads pop up when the video has finished playing. And I recommend not enabling that uh, since because those videos uh, show ads and things like that, your students, students are more likely to go away from the course. There's also options for what size of video uh, that you'd like to place into your course. By default, it's the 420 by 315. Um, a little bit larger is probably a little better. You can play around with it and, and choose the size that you like the best. Another example of embed code uh, can be found on Google Docs. So if you put something in Google Docs, like a syllabus or something like that, you can embed this into your course by clicking File and publish to the web. Uh, you want to make sure this checkbox is checked here at the top for automatically republish when changes are made. Uh, what's great about this is that then anytime you make a change to your syllabus it's automatically uploaded uh, and, and put into your course. You don't have to change anything, you don't have to re-upload anything or change the embed code. It will automatically be refreshed and republished as you make changes within Google Documents. Below here is the embed code. If you click in this box, it's automatically, everything is automatically selected. So you can just use the Control C keyboard shortcut to copy that to your clipboard so that we can put it in Blackboard later. And one last example of some embed code is in Google Calendar. Now many of you might say, well, why would I use Google Calendar uh, in my course? Well, this is a way that you can create a calendar of events for your students for when items are due uh, and when things are happening within your course. So you populate a calendar with all of the things for the semester, and then you can actually embed that calendar into your Blackboard course. So if you go to the settings of the calendar that you've chosen, uh, then you can scroll down and you see embed this calendar. Now by default, there is some code there, so you can just outright embed it. Uh, you can also click the customize the color, size, and other options. Uh, so there are some customization options. You just click some check boxes and things like that, and the embed code automatically updates. So if I click in this box, uh, I can do a control A and then do a control C again, and that's going to copy that code to my clipboard. Once I have embed code, which is the most important part, then I can go into my Blackboard course. Now I've just created an empty folder here as an example for embedding, and then I'm going to click the build content. Now I'm just going to add a regular old item, nothing special. 
I could name that item. Now, because Google Calendar is the last example I gave, that's the embed code that's currently on my clipboard. So I'm going to name this Course Schedule. Since it's a calendar, that's fitting. Now, what I want to look for here is the toggle HTML source mode. Uh, notice this button that I'm hovering over. If I click that, then my text box then becomes a, a yellowish orange color. So I'm going to click in here and I can remove what's there and I'm going to do a control V which is a paste. So I'm going to paste the content or that embed code that I had gotten from Google Calendar into this box. I can scroll down. I don't need to make any other changes or anything like that. So I can scroll down, set any of these settings that I want, and then click Submit. Now here you see that I have a calendar embedded directly from Google Calendar into my course now. What's great about this is that any changes that I make to that calendar from within Google Calendar itself will automatically be reflected within my course. So I can make changes, update things, and it will automatically appear here. Hopefully this helps you use content from the web and to make your courses more interactive and engaging.